This is video number 561, Hitting the Lead on the Devil's Lies in Your Life. Have you ever heard the story about how do you kill a frog? Firstly, my question, why do you want to kill a frog? But the urban legend is, you place the frog in cold water on a stove. Then you gradually increase the heat on the stove, causing the water to hit boiling point. But the problem with the frog is, the frog becomes acclimatized to the increasing temperatures. Instead of the frog realizing that it's going to boil to death, the frog thinks he's in a jacuzzi, staying put inside his death pot. I think this is what happens with the devil's lies in our lives. It is the same as the analogy of the frog. I recently met a friend of mine who has three years ago walked out of a very emotional abuse marriage. The scars are deep and woven into his DNA. I feel heartbroken for this awesome human being, believing all the lies that was gradually woven around him over his long marriage. I think the same empathy and heartbrokenness that I'm currently experiencing for my friend is the same way that God feels about us. He sees us. He is our Roy, the God that sees us. And He knows that the lies are killing us just slowly, just like the murder of the frog. There is this psychological term of gas lighting someone, where the abuser makes the victim believe that they have the problem that they are the one going crazy. An abused victim will sometimes feel that he or she deserves the physical blows, whereas in an emotional case, they will start to believe that they deserve the constant verbal abuse and or insults. I also believe that the devil is an abuser. So please, Lord, reveal to us where we are the victim of gaslighting, gaslighting from the devil. To gaslight someone means to manipulate a person into questioning their own sanity. This is seen in abusive relationships, and even after the relationship ends, the effects of gaslighting can still progress. Consequently, it is important to identify such a relationship as soon as possible. Get rid of gaslighters from your life and keep them away from contact for at least a year, if not permanently. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse that gives the abuser power to make the victim question their own mentalities. Here are 10 signs to help you identify if you are being gaslighted in an abusive relationship. 1. Using your fears. Abusive people often act charming in order to extract information from you and use it against you later on. They take note of your vulnerabilities especially for this reason. The abuser will want to feel like they're better than you and make sure you think that way too. For example, if you have weight insecurities, the abuser will poke fun of your weight and constantly point out people who are skinnier than you. 2. Knowing you Many abusers think and act as if they know everything about you, right down to your thoughts. If you try to claim otherwise, they will assume you are lying. They may even try to convince you that you're lying to yourself. 3. Normal changes. This is one of the most obvious signs of gaslighting. If someone tries to tell you something is normal when you think it's wrong, you need to get out of that relationship. For example, if you don't want to take the next step in a relationship, but your partner calls you a prude rather than accepting your comfort levels, you should watch out. Keep in mind, Abusers do not exist only in romantic relationships, but in professional relationships as well. 4. Questioning your sanity. A person is abusing you, and yet you're the one that's insane? That's basically how it goes in the mind of an abuser. When an abuser does not get their way, even through manipulation, they may become more intense by questioning your sanity. You are likely to be called paranoid, hormonal, or overly sensitive. 5. Making you doubt yourself. When someone says something over and over again, you are bound to believe it eventually. 
Because of frequent exposure to such comments, you will find yourself questioning your own judgment and may eventually give up completely and just let the other person think for you. 6. Forgetting an abuser tends to have selective memory, where they may deny ever saying anything that upset you if you try to confront them about it. For example, they may have made a promise that was never fulfilled and then claim the promise was never made. 7. Making you lie. You may not usually lie, but this person may cause you to lie at times to avoid any verbal and or physical abuse to come. This lying is motivated by stress caused by the abuser. 8. Causing you to stay silent. It is innate for humans to want to share their experiences, but being with an abuser may redirect that nature. You may avoid or stop talking with the abuser, and may even stop talking about yourself and your experiences to everyone in general, based off habit and trauma caused by the abuser. 9 making you question your sanity. Manipulative tactics can change the way people think drastically. When you are constantly trying to end an argument with an abuser, it may become easy to just go along with whatever the person is saying, but this slowly changes the way you think. You eventually start believing the abuser when they say you are in the wrong and should apologize. 10. Making you depressed. Being worn down by an abuser can easily make anyone depressed. Being pushed to question yourself and your sanity will get tiring over time and eventually lead to a feeling of hopelessness. Worst of all, because you think you have issues such as paranoia and memory loss, you are likely to search for treatment for the depression and the mental problems rather than for the issue itself, the abuser. Now that you know some of the gaslighting signs, do you think you've ever been gaslighted before? If so, how did you get out of that relationship? Feel free to tell your story in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our other social media for more psychology content. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. So this is me. This is me, God, pouring out my heart to you in this desperate, perfect with an ink exclamation mark plea to you. Please hit the delete button in our life with all the lies the devil has planted in our personality, in our DNA and in our souls, in our hearts and in our spirits. Just like I noticed the myriad of lies woven into my friend's broken heart and spirit, I know you. I know you see them all, all of these lies. I have once heard that it takes seven compliments to cancel or neutralize one insult. Please God, give us the compliments to neutralize all the lies we have in our life. One of my latest, fresh from the press testimony was my revelation that we need air cons and power steering in our life. I was stuck in a Katy Perry kind of relationship for a few years now. It was hot and cold. With this relationship, there was a lot of ups and downs and I invested a lot of time pulling the person. We would organize a camping trip together. I would be the crazy one doing all the planning, all the shopping, making all the logistical arrangements. Then I met my friend and he helps me. He thinks about the camping weekend ahead, sorting out the logistics for me. I told him recently that it felt as if I was driving an old car without aircon or power steering in my life. But since he entered my life, it feels like as if I have a new car with power steering and aircon in my life. This is the kind of restoration and healing that we all need in all areas of our life. Show me Lord, reveal to me where I'm the frog in the murder pot, where I live without aircon and power steering in my life. Jesus came to give us life in abundance. When Jesus entered the scene, the fishing was easier. When Jesus entered the scene, the wine was better than before. This is the upgrade and restoration that I'm looking for currently in my life.